Hey, hey, hey. Come. What's the meaning of this? Are we mates? May Thunder string this your stupid, useless mouth. What's the meaning of are we mates? Are you, are you, are you crazy? Oh, I can see you've lost your senses. Idiot! And if you don't leave my present this minute, I will descend on you. You descend on me. Descend on me. You know what? I'm here to warn you. To go and tell that your useless, stupid father that he should never cross the path of my father again. Because if he does, that his, his useless, deranged brain, I will open it for him. Okay? How dare you talk to my father in such an abusive manner? Uh-huh. If I do, what are you going to do? In demands, are you daring me? Do you actually want to see what I can do? Oh, Diego, what are you going to What? Hmm? What are you going to do? No, so. No, so. Papa. Papa, you called me. Where's your sister? My sister? Okay. Yes, yes. She left a few hours ago to go and assist uh, my mom. Then I went back from uh, the market. Um, <clears throat> go to the Kuli de Pama, Papa's house. Tell me how to see my dad. All right, okay. Bye. Bye. if not the head of a man. I am sure I'm going to get someone befitting before the feast. I wish you luck. Thank you. But remember, though the feast isn't coming up anytime soon, you shouldn't feel relaxed and at the critical moment, lack solution. I can't bear it if you endure similar fate as Roland. But remember, any man that you will sacrifice must at least have gone into you on 20 different occasions. Make haste while the sun shines so you don't go short of ideas. You are my best friend. 
and I have to give you the best of my advice. Hmm. You are right. The best is in 80 days. But I'm very sure, I'm certain, I'll get one before 60 days from today. Cheers, Oh, cheers. <laughs> I've called this meeting here today because I've been thinking a lot lately and I've come to the conclusion that now is the time as the first son of this family. Now is the time to take that bold step and make the decisions that will put smiles on the faces of everyone in this family as well as teach our enemies some bitter lessons. What I'm trying to say in short is that this is the time that I've decided to leave this village and move to a different city, a better place, so that I can fulfill my dreams. <clears throat> my son, mm. uh, I think you're on the right track. I've been thinking in some direction too. Mm -hmm. But one factor has been militating against this. Just one. No. What factor? And money. Money! Look, someone cannot go to the city without having at least some money to invest on something. Or better still. Uh, have some money to rent an apartment where he will stay and be pursuing his dream. Hmm? Papa, you know that our family now needs nothing but money. And, Papa, delay the white say is dangerous. We are waiting for you to acquire the whole money, the, uh, the money, the whole world to give to brother so he can go to the city. To me, it's an unnecessary delay. He should at least go to the city first. When he leaves this village for the city, when he gets to the city, he will see men, young men in the city, more handsome than he is, hustling, sleeping inside buses, in the gutters, under bridges, under flyovers, in mechanic workshops. All of them are hustling. All of them are bent on making a better future. The most important thing is for brother here to invest more effort in achieving that great dream he left this village with. That is the most important thing. You are stupid. You are very, very stupid. So you want me to go and sleep in all those horrible places you are naming just for me to make money, Abi? See, but I'm German. I am a younger brother. But just allow me to advise you a little. Hmm? You do not have to be a comfort seeker. No. Men who are not willing to leave their comfort zone will never make it in life. I even heard uh, Dangote, um, Efanuba, Innocent. They all slept in the gutters, under bridges, before they became who they are. So I think you should follow the same footsteps and possibly you can end up like them. Also, also like real men do and just sleep wherever the daylight abandons you and you will make it. Sophia, my brother will not sleep in such horrible places. Not so. Not so. Shut up if you still want to be in this meeting. Shut up or I shut it for you. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> My son, I've heard you. Hmm? But please, uh, be patient. Hmm? I'm working on something that I believe will yield result very soon. Okay? And then when it does, I will give you enough capital to start up something myself. Right? Papa, now you are talking. Now you are talking. Uh, forget about this stupid boy who wants somebody to go and to sleep in, in, in gutters and other bridges to make money so you can put in your pocket or buy new clothes or chase those stupid girls in this village. Idiots. Yeah. 
Thank you, Papa. Thank you, my dear. You are not saying something. Hello? Na eh, na eh, jari yika wugom. My man, I've been standing in this place for more than an hour. And I'm even yet to see anyone who strikes your resemblance. Na aku zin, na aku meba, na aku na chom ta ta, biko puta, biko. Okay, okay. Yes, hey, my man. Hey, now Jerry, man, my guy. Why did you leave me for some now? It happens in now. I wanna chat with Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go somewhere and discuss. Because, 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 May God punish poverty. Jerry. May God punish poverty. Money is good though. Ego amaka. Omaka. Omaka. Look at Jerry. Jerry that was a equivalent to twin Steve back then in school. Is now a soft looking young man. Uh, 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 like one of these bread that came out from a uh, 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 oven. Look at you. With f flesh well filled up. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You are looking fresh, my man. Easy, easy. You know, many people say, after God, if truly God really exists, comes light. But I say to them, after God, money before life. There's no money without life. I strongly believe you. I believe you, Jerry. Now tell me, what is the essence of living uh, or celebration of life at age 120 years? Uh, then it will be boldly written in your poster, who died after a brief illness. Do you know what that means? Brief illness is applicable to the poor, the poor masses. Yes. Brief illness doesn't kill billionaires. Never. It doesn't kill billionaires. Jerry. I prefer a painful exit at age 65 because as far as I'm concerned there's nothing worth celebrating in poverty at age 120 no 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 that is why I'm here Jerry I want to belong in the league of billionaires I want to die living a legacy do you understand I don't want it to be written in my poster that uh, 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 we regret whenever there is regret in your poster that means you left nothing for the family to bury you with. Yes, they are not regretting about you that died. Rather, they are regretting about the plot of land they sold to bury you. One natural on such record. I want to live a luxury life, well spent. Hello, my friend. 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 We are the Jakarta's, and you know how it works. We are the Jakarta billionaires residing in Nigeria. You see, I told you previously on how I can render my assistance to you, but you objected it, saying you are not willing to belong. But I wanted to let you know something, is it? I am not willing to give you a penny unless you're willing to be a man and belong to the League of Wealth. Men with great ambition sacrifice their pleasures just to gain their desires. And I'm going to ask you for the last time, Eze. Are you willing to do what it takes to be recognized as one of the allies of the state? The choice is yours. Make money. Now you are young and be like me. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, I wouldn't have been here if I'm not prepared. 
Monday, I am 101 prepared. I am fully prepared. I don't mind what it takes. I don't care. I want to have money. I can be able to make car. Anywhere which way. You know my car. Easy. Then, get ready this night. You came on time before the feast of the mortals. But I want to let you know something. The road to success is never easy. Welcome, Eze. Welcome to the altar of the vulture who feeds on carcass. You have successfully undergone the first phase of your initiation process. The second and third awaits you. shall send you on a journey. You will spend 24 hours there. And when you come back, I shall tell you the third phase. Jerry, for bringing in a new vulture, your reward awaits you. Thank you, Oracle. All hail the great vulture. We pledge our hands to the submission of Oracle. All hail the great vulture. We pledge our total submission of Oracle. <laughs> my mother and my father's food. Is it not a taboo? Brother, it's not a taboo, though it's not something to be confident about. But why are you allowing this bother you now? Papa has promised to raise some money for your child. Children, is it? Easy. Easy. If you do not know, Easy has left this village to the city. And it is possible that you will return to this village with fame. I cannot allow Easy to triumph over me in the race to success. I do not want my fears to become reality. Not to busy. Mm -hmm. Finally, we found Roland's replacement. <laughs> that mm -hmm. might be your turn, but to be sincere, Roland is irreplaceable. The vacuum in my heart, nobody can feel it. Uh -huh. <sighs> okay. We all know how much you loved him. 
But he's gone. All we needed was someone to occupy his spot in the Kobun. Right? Exactly. And we finally found one. From what I saw in that courageous man, he deserves to be in the league of the billionaires. You can say that again, baby. Uh, immediately I I set my two eyes on him. I started crushing. I'm still crushing on him. Oh he's so charming. So soon? Uh, do you expect me to see him a million times before crushing on him? I mean, baby girl, we have to chill because that guy is a type of guy I so desire from what I saw. Why didn't you tell him? Why are you telling us? Oh, oh baby girl, chill, okay? okay. Why I have to tell you all sexy pretty lady is because I want you all to stay clear from my oh Prince uh -huh. Charming. Uh-huh. That's alright, that's oh. alright. Just come back. Don't worry, he's all yours. You can have him. Oh. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Are you are you back? You have successfully gone and come back on the 24 hours journey I sent to you. You are now immortal. You now belong in the League of Men. Men of timber and caliber. But, the third and final process that will bring you to all the riches, the opulence, the affluence you seek, I shall tell you. From today, you will eat only from the remains on the plate of your dog. Only then will the great vulture bless you abundantly. But if you do not do that, you will die. I have spoken. Jerry. Yes, you never told me of this. One may call a more for me. At least you should have given a better explanation to me. Eh? All you said was, I will let go a treasure and then acquire wealth. Then I made up my mind that either my mother or my father or maybe my sister will be requested. Because I have already condemned them before accepting to join this brotherhood. So how come none of them were requested? Instead, I was asked to eat from the remains in the plate of my dog. How? How can I as a colleague eat from the remains of the yes, Here in the brotherhood, individual sacrifices differ. What is applicable to me might not be applicable to every other person here. Is it? In your case, is a minor one. So why not bear it confidentially and stop complaining? I, 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 I don't understand, sorry. Are you trying to tell me that eating the remains from the plate of a dog is an easy task? Jerry, is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes, Would you instead prefer not to get married just like me? Yes. Would you? In my own case, I was told I was instructed never to get married to a woman or make love to her. Instead, I do it with my fellow man. Is that what you want for yourself, Izzy? And you, my friend, you do not look like one who will be willing to enjoy your world for only 15 years. That is my case. 
So, do you rather prefer acquiring a whole lot of wealth, yet none of your family member have a test of it? That is my major problem. I'm a lesbian and I'm proud of it. The brother would make me a lesbian. And I can never, ever feel the taste of a man. Maybe spending the rest of your life in wealth with no fruit to inherit them would be better. You wouldn't want to make money without visiting your community at least once in a lifetime. That is a calamity. That is absolutely a calamity. Look. I needed this money to go prove a point in that village to some idiot who... You know why you should be happy? Because nothing good comes easy. It is only those who are notified understands. Easy. Just look at me. I am a billionaire, but yet I am still a tenant and you hear complaining. You better stop complaining to every member of this brotherhood, is it? Everybody here has their own cross to bear. We give thanks, we don't complain. Is it? Why you? Offer the uncle, why you want to do it? I just did. Good to It takes me to make this money. I will climb the high. Is it? Jerry, my man. <laughs> You said you're visiting the village today. Sure, I did. Um, I have made orders online. Okay. For a befitting car. I mean a machine. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go prove a point to some idiots who steal my roots, my community. Yeah. You know, is it there's one thing about you? <laughs> you will never change. Um your rivals never goes unpunished. And that is more <laughs> reason why they shouldn't step on my path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one thing, uh, lest I forget, is it? Make sure you request permission from the Oracle before you leave for the village. Sure, I will do that. Is it, I will. Now you belong to the League of Wealth. <laughs> you can testify how it is to be a billionaire. <laughs> the billionaire lifestyle is quite luxury. My dear, it's something else. Uh, Aragu, I came to seek your permission. I want to visit my community tomorrow. I will appreciate if you grant my request. Your permission is granted. But you must know that the Feast of the Vultures fast approaches in the next 80 days. So you must go and come back in the next 60 days so that you can come and present your sacrificial lamb. Do you understand? May your wish be done, Great One, the Oracle of the Vultures. <laughs>
No put the you put a no no make it One day if we fight fully pull the Bible You pull the Bible you take us your man One day if we fight fully pull the Bible You pull the Bible you take us your man Ah the shock. It's me, Eze. I could never be up one in Jakarta. You see, I have made so much money in Indonesia, Jakarta. I'm back in this village in a grand style to teach idiots like you a bitter lesson. And I will show you the reason why money remains the antidote to embarrassment. Now, go and wait for me. Go get ready. Eze will come knocking. And I will shock you. Maki will learn again free from full. You blow Bible. I could let you go on. I could let them go on. Yeah. I said, but they're going to get no more. I said, but they're going to get no more. I said, but they're going to get no more. I said, but they're going to get no more. One day, if we fight for the Bible, 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 Ugo, Munya, my wife, come. Get on Are you expecting anybody? What are what of you? Are you expecting anybody? Mama, Mama, if your son is there, don't go to Jakarta. Mama, more. Is that what you're about to go? Mama, you're about to go, Mike. Mama, if you fight for me, if you fight for me, you will lose. Mama, mama, hey, mama, I'm not going. My enemies have been put to shame. I'm talking about you. I'm not 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 talking about you. What are you doing? 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 Long 
punish God punish poverty. the kind of wealth you came back with. Can you imagine? Same money. You call it uh, dollars. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Uh, is it? Because the day you were leaving this family, you told us you're going to see your friend that based in uh, um, Jabrata. You say Jakarta. Jakarta. Uh -huh. It's correct. That based in Jakarta that stays in Lagos. You said you want to meet him to know how he can assist you. How come you return with sudden wealth? Eh? Not even up to three months that you left this house. Then eh, one. Where did you get this kind of money from? And I can take off here. What is going on? Boy, is it? <clears throat> Mama, it is a long story. Mami Walanya give me fanful. He bulu Bible. Um, but let me clear the air. <clears throat> Jerry and I were very close friends back then in school. He already purchased the Indonesia visa for me. Although he wanted it to be a surprise while getting to the city. On getting to Jakarta, I met this billionaire woman who I luckily saved her life from the hands of kidnappers. Get mm? it? Kidnappers. Then. Then. So in return, she decided to make me wealthy. As appreciation to what I did for her. As a my son, although your story may sound so unreal, but I and my family, we are not going to doubt you. Because if we do, I wonder what the people out there will believe. So as my son, and I am your father, I am going to shed you. 
But I say, if I shed you, what will the community out there say about this sudden world? They will accuse you that the money is evil. This is evil gotten money. Everybody will begin to wonder about your massive world. They say, what is your defense? What do you think? Papa, forget about them. Forget about them. Listen. Your enemy remains your enemy. And most likely will not patronize you. Even if you sell long life and prosperity. You can never, never please your enemy. Because I'm able to make my family comfortable. I'm okay. I don't care what people say. I don't care their opinions. And as for those who wish I succeed, surely must benefit from this world. Haga mana kunebi opu. Papa, I think my brother is right. We shouldn't consider what people's opinion are concerning his success. He was fortunate. All that matters the most is there is money now to shame our enemies one after the other in this village. My daughter, I think you are right. I'm right. You are indeed my son. Uh, he's indeed your son and mine. As for you, Eze, no problem. You have said you mind. As for you, Eze, hmm? Let me just pretend as if I believe what you just said. Till you are ready to tell us the source of your sudden wealth. Yes, though I know it's not of evil because I trust my son. But anytime you're ready, you can come and tell me. Eh? You can come and tell me. I'm your mother. You know, go. That is a long story. I made a journey south of the Bible. I made a journey suggestion earlier. What did I get? Brother, you said you cannot pay your comfort to pay for a better tomorrow. Maria, have you gotten us into? Where have you gotten us to? A possible embarrassment. The mood is paid in your list for you. Every mouth is saved. Every man is in Jakarta. The matter of the world is small. It's a late morning in Jakarta. Have you listened to me and let me to me for the city? You may luckily have found yourself in Jakarta and now you are spending Jakarta money, Indonesian money and be called Indonesian women. In as much as I do not face a possible embarrassment for Mazindo as family, I still don't like the idea of your brother spending a single minute under the bridge or in the office. Huh? Okay, cool. Okay. Huh? If that is the solution to this whole nonsense, I am in support of it. Finished. I cannot take uh, Godia's insult anymore. Ah ah. Dikana. Dikana. Eh? Is this Dika? Hi. This situation is not palatable at all. Hmm? Giving my son the thing I promised him is now a mirage. How do I face this shit? Hmm? What do I tell our ancestors when I get there? Oh. That Ndoka's family made it before my own family. Is that what I'm telling you? And not just that. The worst thing that could happen to me is to die without seeing any member of my family making it. I must beg this money. It's up to me to save this family. Check your 
Mbak, you will Now that I have made billions, now that I have limitless wealth in my possession, I don't think there is other time better than now to prove to Nikki's family that we are superior to them. You have spoken my mind, my son. Where are we going to start from? This is the best moment. The last time I left their compound, though that was a very long time, I can vividly remember that I left them with the world. I told them that on my next return to their cursed soil, they all shall bow to me. I could never be able one one. Makani will learn to give faith for Lumpa. Ibolo Bible. My son, your faith has come to fulfillment because they have limited option and they can't even resist ordinary hundred thousand naira. Yes, they will also bow just to claim the offer. Papa, I have asked the same question once or twice earlier. I always got the same response. And I'm going to ask again for the last time. Hoping to get a better response. Papa, please tell us what brought about this hatred between our family and their family for decades. Are you going to tell us it's not your time? Because that is exactly what you have been saying. Papa, please. My daughter, I don't think there shall be a better moment than now. But my son has made it. This is the story. So, years later, Ono started having problems at his maternal place. They denied him of all his rights and privileges due to him, and they never failed to remind him and his two sons, Obase and Ononko, a child that he named after his own name, that they do not have access to any land without permission, nor will they participate or contest in any political position. Ono became a stranger in his maternal place and ran to his brother, Imoko, who accommodated him and they located a place for him and his two sons who are now married. And that is the beginning of the nine kindreds that we have in this community today. Am I communicating? Now, years later, Imoko and his brother died, leaving nine sons behind. But before then, this community was popularly known as Imoko Kingdom. That was how the story started. I could 
For what? He was telling us a story and wants you to be around. I'm not interested. One man, if he fight for the Bible, 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 the The next three generations of Imoko Kingdom was operating under the leadership of Isuogo and they are answerable to the king of our Isuogo. It was time to go for independence which will make the people of Imoko to become a sovereign state and produced their first king that must come from Okorobi's lineage. When the independent movement was initiated, the people of Izuog and that of Omonkwa, of which Dike is from Omonkwa lineage, while we are from Izuog lineage, it was signed to sign the document, of which there was something written at the apex Imoko Autonomous Community. Now there was a gap in between where we're supposed to have Imoko and Autonomous. It was time for us to sign the second slot after Okorobi's kindred ascent at the first slot before being submitted. This was a climax of Omo Onoko and Omo Idumogo rivalry, which Dike's family and our old family happens to be the powerhouse. That is the story. My great grandfather, who started the book for the autonomy of the Moko Kingdom, had signed a document to that effect and passed it on to Gondoka's great great grandfather to sign. He signed though, but instead of passing it and giving it back to the people who gave it to him that way, he decided to make judicious use of a small space between Imoko and Autonomous. In that small space, he added Noonu, making it Imoko Noonu Autonomous Community. The seven sons of Imoko were furious and kicked against it. But instead of the problem being solved from there, it generated more problems. They used their financial power to influence our kingdom teacher. Yes. So, all effort to make them delete their name from the document proved abortive, and so there was nothing we could do than to jettison the quest for autonomy. The reason we have not gained autonomy till today. You know the one that makes me mad when I remember it most. If we had succeeded, our family would have been the royal family that is ruling this kingdom till date. Because Okorobi, the first son of Kiboko, bequeathed his entire birthright to his beloved brother and the third son of his father, the mother, whom he believed had the charisma and clout to rule the people. <clears throat> My
my great great grandfather had frontal confrontation with his. And in that confrontation, they promised each other that their offsprings, their descendants, will be more successful and progressive. Since then, their rivalry has no known no limit, and it will continue to justice is done. It's Papa. We were the interest. Ipoku welcome Unu despite his resistance to go on for location with him. I don't think Nu should be welcome in this community. Hmm. You are right. But Onu has uh, two kindred and must be recognized. You don't expect his family name to go down the soil. Huh? Not now, I, I as a I could never be open one have acquired money. Soon we will be the head. And it will become Umuanu Nimoko Autonomous Community. Yes, sir. For me, autonomy isn't our first priority for now. For the fact that you are progressing is very, very impressive to start with. What we should bother ourselves is this. That they do not succeed at all, at all. That should be our first agenda. You are saying in a sense that we succeeding is important. Yeah. And them not succeeding is more important. Very, very important. Exactly. You are indeed the true son of your father. Then consider it done. That is my son. Instead, I will lock them up in jail and allow them die in pain. Mm -hmm. With that, we will be leading them. And as well, we will succeed in wiping off their lineage. Makanafa will learn your free firm for Bible. The river never run on the hill. No so. No so. Chiwe. Papa, you called us. Good morning. Oh, yeah. What of the man, sir? He's still sleeping. Sleeping? Uh. And where are you going with the traveling bus? I'm going to the city. From there, I'll be going to Jakarta, Indonesia. Anybody in the city? How do you intend to survive? Oh. Papa, don't worry about me. I, I, I'm a man. I will make it. I will survive. If Easy can go and make it, I'm able to do double of whatever Easy is able to do. See you when I come back with my cars and my bodyguards. But I will make it. Boranjaman, I support you with this. I support you. See, if you get to the city and you find nowhere to sleep, eh? look for a clean uh, bridge. Go under it or in the gutter. Anywhere you find this place, put your mat there and sleep. You are a man. Don't put your horse while you make it. Huh? Don't worry. It's not about comfort now. Just make it. Well, may God guide and protect you. Amen. Amen. Amen what? Which God? Go and sleep under the bridge. Bridge? 
even a wise decision that, I, that, that I'm even making. How do I intend to go to the city with just just 3,000 naira in my pocket? How? Oh. Like this now, I just have to be smart and play a wise one. No matter the outcome, I will just turn any embarrassment. Whatever happened, I will just manage my way and, and get to the city. In fact, I'm not going to go to any park. I will just take any roadside bus. I will just delay my payment until I get to the city. When I get to the city, I will just pretend, do some kind of drama. Maybe somebody will feel sorry for me and just, just pay my transport. Because like this, eh, this 3,000 naira cannot even take me anywhere. I have to be smart. What are you doing in my house, Ezra? Have you come to mock me and my family again? Something related to that, but not that actually. <clears throat> I have come to see your miserable son. My miserable son? Um, I have two sons. And none of them is miserable. Maybe you should try, maybe you should check that um, compound, or even this one. I am not a stranger in this community. And I can tell you that I is it. I never miss his will anywhere in this community. Oh, oh, I can see you are not aware of my current status. Is that what you're telling me? Look, if you don't answer my question this minute, I will have you and your miserable family all locked up behind bars. Well, I will start with your son, Jamal. Answer my question, old man. Where is in Jamanzi? Hey, well, Eze, if you must know, Njamanze left for the city this morning. You must be joking. <laughs> hey, Eze, believe the truth. Believe the truth. My son, Njamanze, left for the city this morning to come back in no distant time to correct an impression. So, even if you lock us behind bars, I am very, very confident that we are going to regain our freedom when my son returns from Jakarta. Jakarta, pa? Yes, Jakarta. You are going to take it again, You are going to take it again, I hope what I'm thinking is not true. Let him not be knocking enough to set his eyes on anyone who will accompany him to Jakarta in Nigeria. Ya bukwa na Jakarta and Kem Kogara. Makano Walani have a fame full. Bulu Bible. Amu Abuezi, I could never be one of this community. Omoro Nye Maka. E Maka, if you don't want to win, if you don't want to win, Mwanuma. 
Is your husband inside? No, I'm not married. Oh. So you mean you live alone in this big mansion? Yes. Please come inside. You mean Eze came to this house? Eze came to this house to warn him. Do we have any appointment with him? He came to remind us that uh, his family has triumphed over ours. But he was shocked to the man when he heard that my son in Germany. I left this community for Jakarta. I can't imagine the, 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 the disappointing look on his face. Eh? It was like a dream to him. He couldn't understand it until he carried his scratchy, scruffy looking body out of this compound. Better. I'm certain he won't have a good night's rest. Because very soon, Paul and Jamanze will come back to this community with big money. So that was how I found myself in the city. So sorry. What a terrible past. But don't worry. I will change your misery into fortune. Okay? Um, but um, before we engage into any further discussion, you have to go change into something better. Hmm? Okay. Follow me. This is where you're going to be staying until I actualize my plans for you. Hey. You mean I'm going to be staying in this room by myself? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Please make yourself comfortable. Okay. You can use the bathroom there. Okay? Hey, finally I've met my destiny helper. I will waste no time to inform her about my, my, my ambition. And once she helps me to achieve my dreams, because I know she can, she can help me. Once she helps me, I will go back to the village and I will prove to Eze that my family is not a failure. We are not failures in my family. Yes. Oh, so this, this decision I made to leave the village, to come to the city without even knowing where I was going, now has proven to be the most important decision I have ever made in my life. <laughs> what? I'm going to go fresh enough. Start to talk about my future.
No, that's so I, I just uh, I want to talk to you about something. Yeah, please. Okay, I'm listening. Uh, please sit. Right. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> Ma, like I said, please, oh, don't be angry with me. I just want to talk to you about something that is uh, very important to me. Okay. Uh, you see, I'm a very ambitious man. And what brought me to this city requires immediate solution. Okay. That's why I'm ready to do anything, anything to take me to where I want to go. And where I want to go is where there is money, so I can find money. <sighs> You see, when I saw you along the road and you picked me up, I just said to myself, God has sent an angel to help me uh, uh, solve this my ugly situation. Ma, please, I need us to talk about the help you said you were going to give me, you know, to help change my life. Please, as I said, don't vex. In German, say. Emma. You have just spent a night here. Don't you think you are being greedy? Hmm? I expected you to ask why I offered you shelter and what I require in return. But you never did. Instead, you are concerned about your welfare. Well, I will forgive you. But please, let's take this discussion to the back burner and discuss something more important. Ma, no vex. You need to understand me. What could be more important than talking about my future? Eh? For me right now, what is more important to me than uh, making my family proud? My future is more important than even the air I breathe. Yes, ma. My future is even more important to me than the air I breathe. Yes. It is all about your destiny. You have just met your destiny. You are so good. Hmm. I wouldn't wish for any other man. So, are you satisfied? Of course I am. But I don't mind we do this more often. No problem. Mm. As you wish, my lady. Thank you. So, well, uh, now that you are satisfied, can we go back to our previous discussion? I mean, I've given you what you wish. It's time you give me what I want. What is it you want? Say it. I want to travel to Indonesia. I want to make money, serious money. I want you to sponsor my trip to go to Indonesia. When I return, I will give you everything you wish. Money can be made everywhere. Indonesia isn't a place where the kind of money you need resides. You don't understand. My, my greatest rival has made Indonesia money. He's spending Indonesia money. And I, 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 I want to spend that, that kind of money, Indonesian money. No money is written in Indonesia. You can make money here and label it Indonesian money. Then help me to get wealth. Help me to, to make money, you know, boundless riches. I want riches. I want money. Calm down. Calm down. 
Don't worry. I will when the time comes. Tracy, when is the time going to come? I need to make money. Patience. Just patience. Progress. What progress? Have you found someone? Yes. I have found a young, vibrant man. And he has slept with me once. Wow! That's great! <laughs> Congrats! Thank you. Congratulations! Thank you. Um, but the problem I have is. He's so persistent that I enrich him. And you know that wasn't part of the requirements. You must not do that. Yes. Just keep on promising him mm. till the feast of the vultures where he can be presented as the sacrificial lamb. Exactly. Mm, but are you are you sure? Do you know, just a day. He's already mounting pressure on me. So, do you think I can be able to convince him to stay till the feast? Yes. Yes. No second chance is entertained. You don't need to endanger your life. You started it with him and you must end it with him. Yes. What rubbish. You're right. decides to help me or I'm going to find help from someone else. But I don't have this time to waste. Time is precious. Time to say is money. Money. I don't have time. don't know me. Um, Lucy. Tracy is my best friend. Is she in? No, she's uh, she's not. She um, she went to see somebody. She said she will not be too long and she will be back in less than 30 minutes. Um, uh, sit down, man. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, oh okay. I, I will. This is my house. If I need anything, I know where to get it from. Okay? Okay. I'll definitely tell you if he comes around. So, 
who is that handsome, sweet, young looking guy in your house? <laughs> oh, oh. You mean in German say? thought he's your relation. No, he's not. So... So, how are you doing? I'm fine. Doing great. What do you want again? Did you just ask me that? Come on, let's do what we've been doing. Yes, I enjoyed it, mm -hmm. but not as much as I would have enjoyed it if I were controlling billions, you know? If I had billions, I would, you know, like, more force, more force. You see, the way you, you like it, you enjoy it like that, if you want to continue enjoying it, if you want to, you know, the way you were, you were moving, you were trembling under me then you have to grant my wish. So if you grant my wish now, then this thing, eh, I will service you even more. You don't give me orders under my roof when you know I provide all your primary and basic needs. You don't. Oh. Oh. Now for me to ask for my own good, you are telling me I'm giving you orders, right? I should have known that you have no intentions of helping me. You. I should have known that from the first day that all you wanted was to keep sucking my blood. No more. Things. Where am I going? I'm going to the streets. I can live in the streets. 
You don't want to help me. You want to be using me as a sex toy. Just, just using me. Sex, 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 sex. Help me. You can't help me. I will go to the streets. I will find a way. And I will still be a success. No. I'm sorry. I know you believe this because of the manner in which I spoke to you. I allowed my emotions to take over me. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I don't want you to leave. Please. I promise you, in no distant time, I will make you smile. Please don't leave me. Please. I'm sorry. Your friend is not here. I know. I actually came to see you. You see me? I hope all is well. Does it look like there is a problem? All is well. Have anyone told you that you're a handsome guy? No guy. I know what I look like. That is not what I'm after right now. What I care about is money. Good money. And anybody who is not willing to help me get the kind of money that I'm looking for is useless to me. I love your kind of man. Very ambitious. What? Can you just stop? Stop it. Huh? I'm not a sex toy. I'm not a sex slave. Your friend will be back soon. You can wait for her. Please. Oh. Oh. Oh, sh mm. <laughs> Imaginable to acquire rapid wealth. Yes. You really need to seek for solution. He must not leave unless you want to face the world of the vulture. Success taking in Jamanze longer than it took small boy Eze, small boy Eze to achieve in the city. I'm also confused. I thought by now you must have come back with the kind of foils we need. What is wrong with both of you? What is wrong with both of you? Do you wish you get this in criminal activity just to make money? Eh? You think to make money is that easy? Why are you always siding? Why? Eh? Making money is not easy. Yet, yeah, Tessa Kenya made money. Well, I don't care how he does it. All I want is for him to come back home a fulfilled man. Soon, Papa. You should come back very soon with money. What is wrong with this world? Eh? How you make money is not important. The important thing is to have money. I love you so much. All I wanted was just a single moment with you. Am I asking for too much? Lucy, I do not hate you. In fact, I like you as a person. But I want to leave you with these words. No matter how sexy you are, no matter how 
much you are able to turn me on. I will not fall for you until you show me the way to wealth, the way to riches. Okay? Why don't we get down together? And then I will show you the way to riches. Lucy, let's do it like this. Why don't you show me the way to riches, the way to wealth, and then you can have all of me. You can have me as much as you want. You can have me unrestricted, anytime. Ooh, oh yeah, Bye. nothing matters. Hey, unless I make this money Hey, nothing matters Hey, unless I make this money Hey, I'll climb the highest mountain And swim the deepest ocean I can't help it But to ensure that I have a taste of him I don't care how Trace feels. She can always cope. I know this is going to harm her a lot, but who cares? I must satisfy my desire. Yes, I have to. I love him. I love him. And I will do anything to ensure that I have him. I don't care. Hey, unless I make this money. Hey, nothing matters. Hey, unless I make this money. Hey, I'll climb the highest mountain and swim the deepest ocean wherever it takes. Njemanzi, you haven't dressed yet? I thought I told you we would be going for a birthday party. Tracy, what do you take me for? A fool? Who do you think I am? A stupid man? In fact, what am I even doing in your house? I wake up every morning, I eat, I service you. I sleep, wake up, eat, service you again. Huh? Is that what I came here to do? Is that why I'm in the city? Listen to me and listen very well. If you don't grant my wish, I will not allow myself to be your toy boy anymore. I will not. Hey. Nothing matters hey, Unless I make this money hey, I'll climb the highest mountain And swim the deepest ocean Wherever it takes me To make this money I'll That idiot Ingrid has vowed never to have anything to do with me again until I make him rich. That's indeed a bad news. So, how many rounds are left? Just two. Don't worry, just calm yourself down. You need to look for solution. No, let's go to the This is the man after my heart. I plead you grant him the burning desire in his heart. And he's ready to climb mountains just to achieve one goal. 
which you offer in abundance. Yes, yes, Oracle, yes. I'm, I'm ready to do whatever is required. Even I'm ready to sacrifice 24 heads just to get great wealth. I'm ready. I see. You are a very ambitious young man. You are an asset. Because people like you will not hesitate to impress the great vulture. But granting you great wishes requires great sacrifices. Are you ready to trade your treasures for riches? Yes, wise one. I'm ready. Are you ready to trade your comfort for riches? If you are, then you must go into the forest for seven days. You will search for feces defecated by human. When you find it, you will eat it. You will also look for feces defecated by dogs. When you find it, you will also eat it. And when you come back, I shall tell you the final task you must perform before the Feast of the Vultures. And so shall it be. Side. Probably Tracy might have returned, and I don't want her to know that I have an assignment with you. If not, she would work against us in achieving our aim. Okay. 
Okay, I see. Yeah. You're right. All right, so I'll see you in seven days' time after I perform the task. Okay? Right. It's not a problem. But remember, I will be your only woman when you achieve your dream. Sure. You will. Uh, hey, come here. Mm. All right. See ya. Take care of yourself. Nothing okay. matters. <sighs> I want to fall my gate! Okay, so you. Is your madam back? Yes, a few minutes ago. Wherever it takes me to make this birthday, I will climb the highest mountain and swim the deep ocean. And where do you think you are coming from? Wait. I don't understand. So I don't have any right to leave these premises. Or am I in a kind of prison? I cannot leave to go anywhere. Don't I deserve the right to know the whereabouts of a man I feed, clothes and shelter? Oh. Now I understand why you do not want to help me so I can stand like a man on my own. Mm. I'm going to surprise you. I will soon control more affluence, more money than you have ever seen in your life. And when that time comes, you will be shocked and wondering how I came across such wealth, such power. In your dreams, wait till in less than 40 days where you'll be served to the great vultures who feeds on fat cockles. his feet into this compound and you claim you do not know his whereabouts. Tell me the truth. Did he go out with anything? Honestly, madam, I'm as surprised as you are. Because the day Jemanze left this compound, there was no single luggage he left with. According to him, he said he wanted to get something at the shop down the street. I'm so surprised he hasn't returned yet. I don't think all is well with him. Man. I don't think so. You think so? Honestly, madam, I don't think so. I don't think so. <sighs> okay, thank you. You can leave. Yes, madam. Don't 
wait me Lucy. What do I say to Grandmaster that my sacrificial lamb escaped after sleeping with me in 18 different occasions? Don't you think I'll be facing similar fates as Roland? But how could you be that careless? You knew Njamaze is ambitious. After receiving several threats from him on leaving, you shouldn't have accorded him that freedom and privilege in and out of your compound. We could happen, Kafu Haliono. Please, please. This is not the time for blades. I, I called you here to seek for solutions. I, I, I only wanted, wanted to make him comfortable. That's all. I mean, dress in a rag in the name of clothes. Eh? Don't you have mirror at home? Hey! Madam, you're supposed to take proper look at yourself. Before you leave your miserable compound, why are you like this? Oh! <laughs> Pardon my manners. Eh? I forgot that your family can barely feed twice a day. Not to talk of buying this kind of life. Expensive clothes. Oh, hey, look at my hair. He says it's body. My son says it's a Peru. Yeah. <laughs> look at your hair. See the hair. Are you mourning your grandmother or your great father in law? Or oh, better still, you are mourning poverty. Poverty for any disease. In a cheap If I'm the. Hey, hey, hey! You move to the Polo are you stupid? You want to walk out on me? Just like that. Ne as no ye no see go on the wrong way. You go na pussy. All nonsense. And don't try to use abusive words on me. Else, the rest of your family will rot in jail. You know my son now. Ezen when li fo ko do na so ko. O me beli fi be ba kwa. O pa no poverty. I would have given you some money, but what I have here is dollars and pounds.
Mama, what is it? You don't look happy. On my way home, I saw Uko. She approached me to remind me of how wretched my family is. Eh? Mama, what do you expect? Like a injury. Mama, we are bound to face similar humiliation and insult from Ondoka's family as long as we remain with our miserable condition. Once we blame Jaya, Kafagami, Tijaya, and all around this village. Uh uh, it's, it's, it's just a fact. Are you doing it? I faced similar encounter with him yesterday. Hey! Mama, poverty is a cause. We need to have more honor. We have more work. But the man is taking longer than expected. I don't know how I will be back. Or but I go in the room and leave the room. He's taking longer than we expected. He should better come back with money and put an end to all this insult and humiliation I have in the face here. Ah ah. But as he left the, the community, we didn't feel it's a short period. He came back with money. Everyone of their family in the room. But see, the man is your son. Same. He left the village. I don't even know how. We are suffering. Poverty today. We are keeping him for, for lunch. So what are your plans? The center cannot hold. I can't live under the shadow of Anjamanzi. Mm -hmm. I am his elder in this game. And also his senior colleague in the Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. I can't sit back and watch him rule over me. Never. If the Oracle cannot do anything about it, then I will withdraw and build my own empire. I would have done that when Lucy betrayed me and got the oracles back in. But I couldn't. Because I know all offenses are punishable by death. If only you raised alarm before taking the right step. I will succeed. I don't care what the oracle does or will do. For I am equal to any task. Oh, well, I have a pencil. The blue Bible. Boss, you idiot, you idiot! 
Why did you allow that mad woman to sit in my living room? I'm sorry, sir. I thought she's your wife. You thought she's my wife? Yes, sir. You are stupid! I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Go and remove him from the room. Go and take her out. Carry out to the room! Stupid boy. Didn't you allow crazy woman to sit in my, my, my living room? Why do you want my guest to sit? My friend, take her to the take her to the room! Yes, sir. What is that you seek from the great grandmaster? We seek power. We seek fame. We seek protection. We seek riches. Wealth beyond human imagination and boundless affluence. We belong to a brotherhood we want to disassociate from. So we have come to you to provide us shield. <laughs> what you seek, you shall get. We are the eagles. We are the pride of all beds. But be warm. There is no going back. I repeat, there is no going back. <laughs> We came with all our heart. We are determined for this. We are experienced in this and we equally know what it takes. As you may know, the qualities you see demands a great sacrifice. You must sacrifice to reap portfolio. From now, you are immune against every power. But you must sacrifice to acquire other qualities. Oracle dwells in favoritism. The void choice partial. He has proven that to me once, twice. In my case, and in that of traces. And he won't fail to repeat it the third, fourth, and the fifth time. And probably might be in your cases. There yeah, you might end up being on the negative side. So on that effect, Tracy and I have chosen the right path. The ego is the flawless goddess and a place to be. Is it? Tracy. I think you both are endangering your lives. The Oracle will not take it lightly with both of you if it discovers this recent development. You know how brutal could be. You know. He can't do anything. The ego remains the most powerful goddess and has promised us immunity through her servant, the Grand Master, who says no harm can befall us, both physically and spiritually. Oracle remains powerless to us. She's not far from the truth. I can remember vividly well when he tried invoking your spirit before the mirror. But he didn't succeed. Could, could that be the reason? I'm glad that proceeded from your tongue. So what are you both saying in essence? That you're no longer part of the fortress? Not really. It is for our safety and protection of our rights. You have to leave the vultures and come to us, the eagles. Because 
Oracle is bent on favoring Njemazi and has made it obvious to us when he said he's a man after his heart. Now that he has been given the Onwa Chieftain's title, who knows? One day he might rule all over us. That is the greatest height of insolence. And you, you must protect your integrity. I'm is here to visit me. He is here to go there. You are now in my spirit. Say that again. I want it to be I want it to be the end of that. I want it to be the end of that. I want it to be the end of that. I want it to be the end of that. I want it to be the end of that. I want it to be the end of that. I want it to be the end of that. I want it to be the end of that. That you have finally gotten initiated into the program. Get out of here, okay? Imo Luya, Imo Luya, Imo Luya. And that reminds me, Eze was not present at the last meeting. He was absent. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I hope he has not declared war on the brotherhood. I sense a fierce battle. A fierce battle. But I cannot doubt anything you've said. Eze is quite ambitious. He's always been like that since we were children growing up. And he's always made himself a competition to me, despising anything that is symbol of success in my life. And uh, I agree with you. I think he's planning something, something that we don't know about. What do we do? What, what step do we take? <gasps> well, I... I don't seem to place my finger on it, on anything for now, but I think we should go see the Oracle. Him alone has the solution to every problem. Yeah, yeah. Let's go and see the Oracle. Exactly. Mm. It is now crystal clear to Njemanze that you both generational rivalry is set to continue. Despite the fact that you both are now living in the city on different outlets, don't you think he might be planning something evil against you? I don't think this battle is just between Njemanze and I. I can see a tough battle. Coven against Coven. The vultures are up for the eagles and we, the eagles, must be on our feet to engage them in a tough battle that will emerge victorious. So on that effect, all hands must be on deck. All hands must be on deck. Mama went to the market while Papa went to see his friend, Mazi Mwadoka, a few hours ago. Okay. Right. 
that's not enough to go inside and get lost. We're going to the city, the same way. Why so sudden? You never told me about this before, honey. Don't you want to go to the city? Don't you want to enjoy the good things in city friends? Don't you want the city to change your life? I want the city to change my life and I want to go to the city. Do you know why, brother? Because I know that in the city lies my future, lies my great Exactly! I am yeah. being smart, but yes. go inside, change your clothes, back with all things. Eh? Once the wife that gets back, you are going to the city. Okay? Huh? Okay, I get up. Hey, but my son, you just came back. Why the hurry? Yes, I know, I know. Whatever I do is for the good of the family. A family where one man is rich can never be categorized as a family of business. Yes, true. I want my younger one to, to uh, uh, live in money, make billions. I want him to be rich as I am. I want him to be an important person in the society. Stop worrying yourself. This country does not need education. Education is a scam. This country needs money. Money, money. That's all. Uh, an organization which I'm part of, uh, an opportunity just popped up. And we are thinking about uh, sending 20 young men, maybe 20 to you. Uh, we want them to acquire some skills, make it money, so that they can acquire wealth and come back as billionaires to Europe. Mm. To Europe, they go and train, they come back to Nigeria. I, I cannot be part of such an organization and let this opportunity to go by without me getting my younger one involved. It's not possible. But I'm ready. Honey, forget about that. Uh, they are more confident. But they are, it's their curse. Uh, if I told you that is it this money is source of money. It's, I said it. Uh, it hey. I said it. Mm. What mm. is it does is what is it there with this? It's mm. only that. Yeah. We are even getting late to travel. Divided evenly, so nobody can feel. Thank you, my son. Let her own not be. Thank you very much. When I get to the city, I will call you people, let you know that we have arrived and we are safe. Okay? It's alright. It's alright. It's alright, my son. Yeah, my son. Be careful where you get to the city. <laughs> no, 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 Papa, trust me. I'll be very careful. Mama. Prayer is the key. Thank you. My son, are you the one trying to? <laughs>
Daniel as wife. From your duty. Okay? I bet go, go inside, go and rest. The boat, but that, uh, what, what, what? No, so go inside and rest. We have somewhere to go tonight, you and myself. So go inside and rest. Concerned about it, madam. Go yourself. Go. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to that room again. Don't you have your own room? I have one. The vultures are up for the battle. We are ready for it. Everyone should be their brother's keeper and be careful whatever we do. We are the eagles, the pride of our beds. We must not succumb to the fit. Bad dream or thought I saw something. Okay. Boss, are you sure you're okay? Fine. Stand there now, I'm fine! I'm just worried.
ഒരുക്കും